OnePlus has finally revealed the 11 in full, although it only to its Chinese market audience at the start of the year as with its predecessor, the 10 Pro. On that note, the brand has now revealed that the two premium smartphones have very similar display specs, down to the size and resolution. Then again, OnePlus asserts that the 11 Samsung AMOLED panel comes with its latest 1 to 120Hz adaptive refresh rate technology, with a peak brightness of 1300 nits, although this might fall to about 500 nits in everyday use. While it has not been presented as completely flat, it seems less curved than that of the 10 Pro, exhibiting minimal bezels on all sides as a result. OnePlus is confident that its new software-based enhancements and haptics engine, which, at 602mm3, is the largest it has ever produced in a smartphone, combined with double-ring magnetic speakers with 10% greater volume and super-linear speaker technology will further boost gaming and entertainment on the 11. Internally, however, it is a different story, with a full-blooded combination of the Snapdragon HN2 Asusi, UFS 4.0 flash memory and equally up-to-date LPDDR5X RAM. Furthermore, OnePlus has started the 11 at 12GB of this RAM, paired to 256GB of internal storage, with a 16GB per 512GB top-end model touted to keep 44 apps on in the background with 16x data throughput and half the stuttering under demanding tasks, compared to the previous generation. OnePlus has already conceded that the 11 has the same basic camera specs as the Oppo Find N2, however, it claims that its, probably ultimate, Hasselblad mobile imaging system makes up for that, with a new 13-channel multispectral sensor to ensure color accuracy. The 11 also supports spot blur, a bokeh technique touted to replicate the effect of the classic camera brand's XCD 30mm or 65mm lenses, as well as other OnePlus and Hasselblad tweaks, such as XPN mode. OnePlus has upgraded the 11 to a new and longevity-focused version of Super Vuozi charging. Its 5000 mAh battery is rated to replenish in full from a 100W charge in as little as 25 minutes, which it can apparently do for twice as long as the industry average. The brand also claims that the battery will retain its health for up to four years. The OnePlus 11, Chinese edition, will come with ColorOS 13 out of the box, complete with 1Hz AOD modes, advanced OCR for text in images and web pages and comprehensive privacy measures, although it should switch to Oxygen OS 13 once the smartphone hits the international market in February 2023. For now, however, it starts at 3,999 yuan, US dollar 579, going up to 4,399 yuan, US dollar 636, for a middle child 16 gigabytes RAM slash 256 GB internal storage SKU, or 4,899 yuan, US dollar 709, for the top end configuration. The OnePlus 11 can be reserved in China from now, with open sales to begin on January 9, 2023.